Hey there, stackers. Today I have an amazing gold coin to highlight. This is the 2022 Chinese Myth and Legends Dragon Coin made by the Perth Mint. It's not 100% clear to me at this point whether this is a continuation of the Dragon and Phoenix, the Dragon and Tiger, and some of the other dragon and other creatures that have been released lately. Some signs do point to say that this is the first in series for a Chinese myth and legends. The silver version came out in 2021 with a 2021 date, but the gold counterpart, which is this one, has a 2022 date. I have not purchased a lot of gold lately, and I am still being fairly selective in the items that I choose. This in particular is one that I feel it has an upside potential to a growing value even if spot price goes down from where it is now. I was lucky enough to find this at a fairly good deal on eBay for which I was able to qualify for a 5% cashback credit for my credit card. And at this point this coin is now under spot with where the gold spot price currently stands. So I say that I did pretty well with that. Regardless, I am looking for gold pieces that potentially hold their value even if spot price were to go down 100, 200 in the next few months or years. A lot of the other Dragon series have done well in general. And I feel that the gold themed coins, especially from the Perth Mint, seem to do well in the secondary market after initial release. These are the types of coins that you want to be able to catch early on. And these have slightly higher or maybe just about the same premium as an American Eagle. At this point, I am not buying any regular Bullion Eagles. I am sticking only with coins with an upside. And this particular dragon is one piece that I do feel has the potential to increase value as some of the other gold coins have in the dragon series. If this in fact is a first release of the Chinese Smith and Legends series, I feel it will do well in the long run. So that's my approach with this coin. I do have another target coin in mind in the future. I'm hoping the Una and the Lion continuation which I believe should be the three graces hopefully is released release soon the gold lever tats this year were released at a much too higher price for me to get the bullion or the proof or the reverse proof version so I'll be putting my gold money somewhere else I am a big fan of dragons and I feel as I had mentioned that the gold themed dragons from Australia, Perth Mint, tend to do well. A few of the pieces I've collected over the last several years include pieces like these. This Chinese ancient mythical creatures high relief one ounce proof. This is a 2016 release uh, with a mintage of 5,000. This has an amazing detail, has the four uh, creatures, um, which include the dragon, the tiger, the phoenix, and a turtle. A few other pieces that I own and that I feel pretty happy to own include this 2017 dragon and phoenix coin, which I believe was the first release in this dragon and something other theme series. There are a lot of mythical creatures, dragons, dragon with something else. So the Perth Mint does seem to roll out many of these, but they all tend to do well in the secondary market. And if you pick them right, most of them retain or increase in value, which is the case with this and the high relief mythical creatures, ancient mythical creatures that I showed earlier. I also have the Queen's Beast dragon which was released in 2017 those have also done well and have appreciated over time 
part of it has been that's part of a successful Queen's Speed series. But you catch the drift about dragon themed coins. They tend to do well, especially if they're attached to a series. Dragons, just like tigers, tend to have a wide appeal for collectors and stackers. So it really can go wrong if you buy at the right price. And many people go back and capture or purchase those pieces that they missed. If this, in fact, is the first in series for the gold mythical creatures coin, then I'll have the opportunity to have the first and complete the series, or at least continue it, without having to pay any extra premiums. And hopefully, if I want to sell down the line, this coin retains some of its value or appreciates in price. That's my goal, at least. Well, that's all I got for today. Hopefully, if some of you are interested in getting this dragon, they are released more widely through other dealers. LPM seems to have them overseas, but hopefully J and Bullion, Abmax, Monument Metals, and some of the others get them in soon. Thanks again. See you all later.